What else does a QA, manual QA do all day? Well, he attends meetings. More often than usual, let's say, there are several meetings he needs to attend. For example, liftoff. Hello and welcome to a new video. Since uh, last video I did about what does a QA lead do all day, I saw that you guys enjoyed a lot that video. I mean, really a lot. So, it's starting to pop off. Thank you and I really appreciate for all the likes that I'm getting and all the views. So, this is a follow-up. Today, we're gonna talk about what does a manual QA do? And we're gonna go from the beginning. I mean, from the start of the day to the end of the day. And that's it. So, but first things first. We gotta start with depending on the project, because, yeah, I gotta give you a little context. So, the project that I'm working on and my team is also working on is a UI project, a web project, actually. It's part of a platform that does several stuff. So, we have backend, we have frontend, we have APIs, we have a lot of stuff to do. So, let's start with what does a QA manual QA do. Of course, as I like to keep everything organized, we have our daily meeting, I mean the daily QA team meeting, and well, we discuss what we did yesterday, what we're gonna do today, any blockers. And of course, if there are new tasks, if somebody doesn't have anything to do, I can assign them a new task, we can discuss what else can he take over from me or from his colleagues or help his colleagues with something, if that's the case, if not. And then, in our situation, there is another daily meeting with the whole team, meaning devs, BA, PM, so on, so on, so on, so on. You get the point. Now, let's get to the big stuff. Now, what does he do all day? I mean, he's manual, he or she is a manual QA and he needs to do something. And he's not doing uh, random clicking, if you know what I mean. Well, on my project, for example, we'll take, uh, let's say, one average day when we have UI stuff. You get the story. For example, I assigned oh, to one of the colleagues one story with uh, some... UI stuff, front-end stuff to be tested. So what he, does he have to do? This is the beginning of the sprint, so he has to create test cases for that the task based on the specification that were already written. So we get specification, we write test cases, and when the task is in QA ready or delivered to QA environment or whatever your environment is called, but basically where the QAs actually test, then they start testing. They execute the test cases that they previously created and then if they find any bugs, they logged in in whatever tool you're using. Jira is the most common, Azure DevOps is really nice, I also made a video about that and stuff like this. When everything is done, the task is moved from QA ready or delivered or so on to resolved, then you have to do a demo to the product owner to demonstrate that the task is working and it was delivered as expected. If there are no bugs, I mean, of course, if we have bugs, that's different stuff. So uh, we don't have bugs in this situation. Everything goes well. What does he do all day besides testing stuff? Well, for example, let's say he receives a task for an API, let's say. There is an API that retrieves for the case of our conversation the case is that he tests an api that retrieves the weather in let's say 30 days weather for london let's say so it's the same situation he has to create test cases he or she has to create test cases for that api and then he also has to prepare some data Depending on what kind of uh, API and how we, he's gonna test that, we usually test APIs with Postman. If it's manual and if it's automation, well, it depends on the framework. So we're not gonna go to automation, we're gonna, just gonna talk about 
manual because as I mentioned this is manual tasks yeah so let's get back so he creates uh, in postman a collection that has to be executed when the task is delivered what does this actually mean he creates in postman a collection he actually prepares his tests before the endpoint is delivered so he already knows for example if the api in or the endpoint that is going to be testing is getting the weather for london in 30 days then he's gonna check that the weather report is for 30 days that the weather report is for london and so on and so on this is just the happy flow then he has to text some negative scenarios maybe that 30 days can be differentiated for example you can do a get and uh, send different uh, parameters who knows so basically it's the same write test cases execute test cases log bugs demo the story when ready and close it of course do, while doing all this you have to remember that everything is managed in a tool so you have to report your hours in a specific tool how many hours did you spend on creating test cases how many hours on testing if there are bugs and so on so on so on so on so you get my point what else what else does a qa manual qa do all day well he attends meetings more often than usual let's say there are several meetings he needs to attend for example if he works in an agile environment or working depending on the project if the project is developed agile of course he's gonna need to attend besides the daily that i just meant the demo the i don't know retrospective the planning the grooming you name it poker planning if there is such a thing on the project so it depends a lot on what type of software development is used on that project but mostly he attends the ceremonies he tests what i just mentioned he has to test and besides this he also has some time I'm speaking for my team right now so this is anyone from my team that does only manual testing he also has his own time for personal development so it depends on his or her career path what does he want to do next does he want to move to automation so he has some time allocated which he can study automation let's say he wants to study performance okay he has some time to study performance or security or load or so on so on so on so basically that's it this is what a manual qa does all day was that really hard did you really think of all these things am i missing something i don't know what do you think drop a comment down below how is it in your company? Because, of course, things differ from company to company, but mostly this is it. There's not much what a manual QA does besides creating test cases, executing test cases, logging bugs. Of course, when you log a bug, after that, after some while, it will be fixed. So you have to retest that bug. And also, let's not forget, when we reach a certain production or a certain release, you may need to, ex to do some regression. But that's another topic. So let's keep that from a different perspective, because I want to make a new video on that one. I want to talk about regression and retesting, the most common question everybody does at the QA interviews. But that's it. See you in the next one. Bye.